So um, we are live. Good to see you today, my EOS friends. Welcome to the EOS podcast. We are here with Robin. He, um, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Robin. It's great to have you on, man. And so Thank you're you at, you're at uh, EOS Link and WorkCoin. It's kind of a combo. What do you, what yes. do, you what do you do there? So uh, basically, we started with WorkCoin, and then. Uh, which is a freelance peer-to-peer -peer platform on the EOS blockchain, uh, allows you to have smart contracts uh, within two people interacting with each other, you know, uh, uh, working uh, together. And then we discovered that uh, we needed a wallet in order to transact properly the way we wanted. We wanted to have a very simple uh, 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 user experience. So uh, we came up with that wallet and all the other wallets that were out there weren't suitable for us. So we decided to create our own and we created links and it just took off. Yeah. So that's, that's where we're coming from. Well, this is a, this is a killer project. It's really interesting how you've combined both of these uh, dApps essentially together or the wallet and the, and the uh, crypto freelancing. And so, you know, we're going to get into all that. This is when I started digging in, I was like, Oh wow, I can't believe I didn't know more about this yet. So um, I'm sure people will be excited to hear about it. Uh, and me and you were just talking about something kind of interesting in EOS. Where do you, where do you see EOS as a blockchain or cryptocurrency just in its current form as far as right. life cycle goes? Right. True. We, we've been talking a little bit about it uh, earlier. Um, right now, I think that EOS is in a very good space um, just because it has features that nobody else has right now uh, so far. Um, which is uh, speed, right? Uh, transaction speed, uh, no fees, obviously. Um, the the st staking and, and CPU and all of that is a minor part of EOS. And um, I think uh, right now, this blockchain compared to other blockchain, I don't want to do, do any uh, comparison, but uh, if you look at Bitcoin and, and Ethereum, the, the time of transaction is so long that you can't really have uh, uh, a day-to-day -day, uh, action or, or real-life implication with those blockchains, whereas EOS uh, allows you to have uh, uh, tons of transactions in less than a second, which you can see on EOS links when you send money, uh, you probably did it, uh, when you send money to, to someone, they, they get it in less than a second, which is a tremendous uh, 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 perk right so now you can actually have uh, transaction on EOS with real life application I mean uh, um, uh, e-commerce site can be can be linked to EOS uh, uh, stable coins are being implemented um, you could have uh, gambling obviously is a big part as you probably know and most of the your listener probably know as well that uh, betting is is a big part of EOS as well uh, games, all of that, all of that places EOS, the EOS blockchain in a position where they will be number one, or at least they will be recognized as one of the main blockchains pretty soon, I think. Yeah, I was just talking to a, a friend about that today, how it kind of caught me by surprise that the the killer app right now or the, the direction all the transactions are coming from is from gambling sites. And I guess maybe it shouldn't have caught me by surprise, but uh, I just wasn't kind of, you know, I kept going, what's right. the killer app going to be? And then all of a sudden it's like everyone's using gambling. Right. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, but the point is, is that this transaction speed makes whatever we need possible, whatever the market kind right. of demands or whatever the people are interested in, then... Um, you know that's where it exactly. goes. Exactly. You know it allows it allows people to actually grow on that blockchain and and have scalable businesses. Whereas on other blockchains, uh, you can't really do that. I mean, Bitcoin will be the benchmark because it's it's the number one and it 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 just grew so much so fast that it will be the benchmark for for a long time, I believe. But uh, if you take other blockchains like Ethereum or or I don't know. You could, you could find a ton. Um, EOS is is right up there with the big ones, I think. And and even though the price is not really uh, uh, reflecting the 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 greatness of this blockchain, uh, I think in at some point soon we'll see a real rise in 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 that matter. Yeah, you know that kind of hits on another point I was talking about with with one of my uh, crypto friends today is that. Um, I feel like 2019 is going to be the year of adoption for 
things that actually have a use case. So right. kind of all these like Dogecoin, I mean, will probably survive forever because it's a, you know, it's, it's a hundred <laughs> of, of, right. of altcoins. But, um, but, uh, but I mean, there, there's all these like small little um, currency coins that I feel like they're, they're going to kind of disappear. There's all these right. uh, dApps or these um, coins that had use cases, but they haven't built out some sort of usable product yet. I feel like a lot of them will disappear. I feel like this is the year where the we separate the wheat from the the chaff as yeah i mean i agree completely with you i mean people have invested a lot of money in crypto and it's time for them to see actual work done and mm -hmm. actual uh applications that could be related to real life and and we spoke about this a little bit earlier as, as well that we're right now in a space where we feel like us crypto enthusiasts or at least people that work in the crypto world are really at the beginning of the internet just like back in the days where 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 the internet was growing so fast and people were were calling the the, the actors crazy uh uh People try to call crypto people crazy, but right now we're at that that point in time where crypto will be adopted, cryptocurrency, blockchain will be adopted by the masses pretty soon, and 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 we're right now in a very very good space. So I think that you know uh, we need to work on that uh, and and be be the 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 voice for the crypto community. And, and share our knowledge with with people that are not familiar with what's going on. Yeah, and get get the word out. And, exactly. And that's a that's a um a cons or a analogy a lot of people make. They say, oh, it's like the dot com bubble, and they talk about it right. like like that's a problem. But it's like, well, you're basically saying that it's like the internet when when the internet exploded and everyone knew there was a use case and they threw a bunch of spaghetti at the wall to see what stuck. And yeah, a lot of it didn't stick and pets.com disappeared and people love to talk about that. But but talk about what happened after that when right. when there was the fallout and then kind of these companies that had legit use cases rose up and built the internet that we see today. And right. That's, that's that's that stage we're at where we had the ICO thing exactly. was so wild. I can't believe, I can't believe. Uh, I just I even got caught up in it, and I was trying not to, and I still was like, you know, buying some coins I probably shouldn't, right. you know. And like I, <laughs> I, I I had like an outsider's perspective, and I was still yeah. caught up in it. So it's it's funny to look back on that and kind of get more perspective on it. Um, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I mean, a white paper is not enough anymore. You know, yeah. a, a white paper is not enough you need to have something to show for and i think that's the the, the natural course of business you know at some point you, the, the the excitement just drops down and and you're when the dust settles you need to have something to show for and that's what we've been trying to do with links you know uh uh we saw that the wallets that were out there were not suitable for the user experience that we wanted to give. And, and we came up with a very simple user friendly, you know, our, our motto is to bring crypto to the masses. And, and, and by that, we mean that we need to be able to have a, a product that is understandable. Right. And, and I think if you played with links a little bit, you'll see that it is, understandable it is pretty easy to use yeah you know what's so cool about links um yeah is that it's it's super easy to use it's intuitive it it takes right. out a lot of these extra steps that are kind of annoying in crypto it focuses on the ux and that's this next level this next stage also is, is making things easier so um definitely something links does i saw i watched a demo uh as well and i saw someone do like a facial recognition and then to verify the sending of the right. phone Can you talk right, about right. That a little bit so of course so uh at the beginning, we implemented the thumbprint, right? Because that's all that was available to us. And then uh, uh, we found a way to have face recognition. So face ID is now your, just like you're signing a, a piece of paper, your face ID is your signature. So we can now verify and, and sort of KYC. I don't like to use that term because KYC is a, is a much larger uh, uh, process and more complicated process but we we know who uses your account so we know that if your face id was accepted and recognized then you are the person that uses uh the wallet just like your thumbprint has to be 
entered in order for you to use the wallet. So really, we we, we try to secure it as much as possible uh, uh, within the different steps that we have. So let's say you send money, right? Uh, so let's say you use Bed Dice, right? You go to their website and use it with links. The first thing you're going to do is thumbprint, right? And then they're going to bring you to to their page and then you're going to send the money and then you have another thumbprint or face id right it's either i have an iphone uh seven so i don't have the face id but if you have an iphone 10 or xs or whatever they came up with uh <laughs> nowadays uh you will be able to do the face id right so it's it is really important to us to have that security sense into because after all uh, cryptocurrency is made for people that do not trust other people and want full security, right? So, so this is what we tr we try to come up with, and and it's working well. I mean, it's working great for 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 links. It's really easy. Uh, uh, no twelve uh, hexadecimal uh, keys to enter or codes or or whatever. It's just you, your face, and your wallet, and you're ready to use it. Yeah, that that's killer. That's killer. Do you think that was what? Uh, do you think there's something in there that is Dan's identity solution? I, I I ask a lot of people this because I'm curious. But you know, Dan has this thing where he's gonna says he's on the EOS blockchain that you'll be able to verify identity and have one user one account for DApps and things like that. Do you think it is related to how you guys are doing it? Um, I mean, we're 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 obviously uh uh um. Uh, now a noted player in the in the EOS on the EOS network. I mean, people are looking at us as uh, one of the great wallets out there. There's there are many, right? And 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 Lynx has become one of the the, the main ones. But uh, I, I mean, I couldn't tell you. I, I'm not in Dan's uh, uh, head, but we yeah, we probably had something to do with it, and 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 it's great, you know, if we can help improve. Uh, what what the community is doing and and we should all do that you know uh, be a part of the community again EOS I think will become one of the biggest blockchains just because the community is so tight and and people help each other I mean uh, scatter which is uh, uh, also uh, an add-on wallet on on your browser we're working with them uh, uh, and and we love what they do we love scatter we love we love the, the the way they work so so you know it's a very tight community and we try to help each other out and and when you contacted me for the podcast i automatically said yes because you know it's it, we need to get the word out there we need to be able to talk about eos in a way that is just as 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 good as uh bitcoin or ethereum we are at that level we're even above that level and we need to be able to talk about it. so first of all thank you for for that podcast for for putting it out there and and yeah we need to be able to to talk about it and the community is very important to us so we try to give back as much as possible to the community and that's why we we did links as well because we saw that nothing out there was suitable for for the community or at least in our mind we wanted to bring something else to the community and give it back you know yeah, and that mobile wallet, I mean, that mobile wallet's great. And, and what's cool about the EOS community is it's this mentality of abundance where, like we were right. talking about earlier as well, where you can work with Scatter and shout out to Nathan James over there at Scatter doing big yep. things. Um, you can work with Scatter. Scatter can work with you. You guys can both develop wallets. There's enough, Obviously. Room, there's enough room for everyone because EOS is looking to have global reach. So, um, you know, it's a cool mentality. It's cool to see it in action. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. Good job working with the community. I mean, um, so you guys have also, let's see, you guys also are integrating work coin with the EOS link wall links. Wallet. Right. Um, right. So we're right now doing integrations. I, uh, sorry, I, I cut you off a little bit oh, right here, it. but, but, uh, uh, yeah, we implemented an API. So we have mm -hmm. our own API, uh, that you, you can use, uh, it's free, uh, for now. Uh, in the future, when when we grow our our user base, uh, we already have a pretty decent user base. But uh, uh, when we'll 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 grow in our DAP uh, section, uh, obviously we'll we'll probably start to find a way to charge some somehow. But for now, it's completely free. So we try to create that ecosystem within within our app uh, um, where you can get into links right and do whatever it is that is accessible 
on the EOS blockchain within Lynx. So you want to gamble, you can do it within Lynx. You want uh, to have CPU delegated to your account, you can do CPU emergency and, and use uh, uh, their service through Lynx. Uh, you want to check blocks and see what's going on on the blockchain, you could go to blocks.io, which is within our, our app as well. So we're trying to bring as much people as possible within, within our app and WorkCoin obviously will be part of that ecosystem where you can uh, hire someone on WorkCoin um, and pay him in WorkCoin, right, on a smart contract using Lynx. So everything will be seamlessly uh, integrated through Lynx, and we we're, we're, we're really hope that people are going to love it. By the way, we're, we're going to have – I'll send you uh, pictures later, but uh, we're going to have a new uh, uh, user interface for our DAP Explorer, which uh, – looks really really good so I'll, you'll have uh, uh, for, uh first looks on that but uh uh yeah we're we're you know we're always trying to improve the user uh, uh experience within links and we hope that by doing that dap explorer we'll be able to really create a full world within within the, the links we're also going to implement a stable coin where you'll be able to use it maybe on e-commerce site with a button that we created which is called pay with links just like pay with paypal you'll be able to do pay with links uh um directly with your eos links wallet so you will be able to pay in stable coin which is uh for those that don't know or not aware what a stable coin is it's it's basically a token that is backed by the dollar so one token equals one dollar and and is redeemable through a, a fund which is uh, probably going to be prime trust um and they'll be able to pay in dollars really with a token on websites and get it directly in their in in their mail the next week right so this is this has applications in in many 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 different places and and that's what we're trying to do again bring crypto to the masses and be able to uh, uh, do whatever it is you can do in other places, but within links. So the stable coin, I mean, it's getting so, so uh, popular right now. A right. lot of people are talking about stable coin and because of this, this use case that you're talking about here, um, how does it, so is it, like transparently verifiable that every coin has a dollar in a bank somewhere. So it's always liquid. I mean, is, right. that, is that, is that how you guys do that? So uh, we will be backed by, uh, I'm sorry, I had to move a little bit no to, to plug my computer, but uh, uh, we will be working with prime trust uh, for, uh, they will be backing the stable coin. So basically a trust like a bank will be saying, Oh, we, we, are backing you so your coin has a real value, right? Has that one to one dollar value. That's what we're going to do with Prime Trust, and that's what happens with stable coins. Um, I mean, a stable coin is incredible, I believe. I think that this will open doors like nothing else because if you can now send money across the world that has the same value as a dollar in less than a second with no fees. This is incredible. Could you imagine? Could yeah. you imagine sending money from Singapore to LA in less than a second that has a real redeemable value? And you erase the volatility of the market completely. So, so this, is, this is a game changer, I believe. And this will be used widely in, in, in different platforms, in different areas in different industries and and it's going to come very fast and very soon yeah i mean you can see it coming fast because everyone is like racing working hard oh, on yeah. the stable coin thing do you think like on a philosophical level do you feel like that ties cryptocurrency to the like the u.s dollar or some sort of fiat in like a maybe like a, a vulnerable way is is there an angle where that happens? i mean I mean, uh, we all know that the, the core idea of blockchain is decentralization and, and, and being open with each other, right? And having a way to, to, to see what everybody else is doing. Um, but uh, 
a stable coin will be useful. Maybe not everyone will use it. Maybe the hardcore uh, uh, diehard fans of, of crypto will not use it because because of some ethical uh, uh, idea, which is fine. I mean, you know, everyone is entitled to to their beliefs. I just think that a stable coin for the for the, the global business and for the global crypto industry is pretty good. And, and I hope it will work and I hope it will be used and I hope it will bring again crypto to the masses and, and bring it to people that are not familiar with what, what crypto is and, and they will be able to get into that pretty easily. Yeah, and, and for people listening, an example of why a stable coin is so important is, is it becomes more important on a larger scale. Let's say that um, like a, a, a ship is going across the ocean with a bunch of commodities on it. And let's say it has, you know, $10 million worth of commodities. And let's say that, let's just say, I don't know what they would be shipping. Um, let's just say pineapples for fun. Right. And, and they have a 15% margin on those pineapples. And so when they sell them, you know, they want that 15% in a consistent fashion. If it gets right. the, you know, if, if, the crypto changes by 15%, they could lose the profit on an entire profit, shipment yeah. worth of things. So it puts a, with businesses, it puts a huge um, strain. I mean, they just can't do it. It's not, it's too risky for to do right. big transactions like that without some sort of stable currency. And exactly. That's, exactly. that's why it's a, a must for, for businesses. I, I, I believe that maybe, maybe the, mat, the, the, the people will not use it as much as the big businesses, but for a big business to have a secure transaction within seconds on a on a coin that is completely stable and and erase the volatility of the market that is crazy uh, right now. Uh, I mean, it's a game changer. I mean, yeah. everybody everybody should should look into it at least. Yeah, and it allows it. it allows a stable escrow too. Because if you're say you're having to wait 15 days for that ship to go across the ocean, you don't want to pay before it gets there. You want exactly. to kind of pay on delivery. Okay, the pineapples are here; they're good. Payment goes through, but exactly in that time period, you don't want to lose all your money <laughs> right so so you can you can also do what is great about that for, and if we continue with your example which is a great example by the way uh uh the the, the, the company a will will send their stable coins into a smart contract which will be locked until delivery is done and and then it's sent to the to the to company b, b right so this is a game changer. Again, uh, we love stable coins and we believe it's, it's really going to open up some new doors for us. And especially with links where you'll be able to use that stable coin within links. Uh, we're, we're, we're right now implementing a, a new DEX. Uh, well, we're implementing a DEX in, in links, our own, and then we're going to work with other, other DEXs, hopefully uh, one that is called new DEX uh, that will be implemented into links as well. Um, or others, right? Uh, you will be able to exchange, swap your stablecoin for any other token or currency that you wish within the DEX, right? So if you want to exchange a stablecoin for EOS, you can do that. Uh, if you want to exchange uh, uh, a stablecoin for 2,000 uh, uh, BET tokens or, or Poland tokens or Honey tokens, then you'll be able to do that as well. Uh, there's a lot of applications to blockchain, and and Lynx is is right there. The I, I we believe, and I feel like uh, Lynx will be a key to many doors. Uh, Lynx will be the center of a world where you can access everything within with that key. Right? It's a master key. We're we're a master key. Yeah, <laughs> and and. The, um, you know, with that stable coin too, relating it to work coin where work coin, like a, a easy way to think of it for me is like Upwork where you can hire freelancers, but with crypto and with on smart contracts. Right. So, um, but if you think in that situation as well, someone that's doing freelance work doesn't necessarily want the value of their, of their payment to fluctuate greatly. They'd rather exactly. have a kind of a stable paycheck. So exactly. that is, you know, your stable coin on the smaller scale is also really, um, you know, has, has value there. I mean, completely. Uh, we've been, we, we've been talking a little bit with EOS cafe, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with it, uh, but there are a real cafe where you can go and buy coffee and, and eat lunch, right? And pay with crypto. 
and and for them as well it's 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 awesome i mean mm-hmm. they now can have sell their products for a value that is not going to fluctuate they, you can buy a coke for two dollars and it's going to stay two dollars mm-hmm. right it's not going to be oh maybe it's going to be 230 maybe it's going to be 245 maybe it's going to be 150 and i'm losing money uh so so it really takes pressure off the the customer and and the seller uh um so the, the stable coins are great. Um, Let's but, look a little further into the future on stable coins. Cause this, this is like, I haven't talked a lot about this, but all these ideas pop into my head. Right. So it, it seems like it's this intermediary stage, the stable coin, because mm-hmm. if you are of the, uh, of the philosophy that I, I, I feel like as uh, these different fiat, fiat currencies fail around the world, that they'll be supplanted by cryptocurrencies and then those cryptocurrencies will maintain and fiat won't survive there again. Somewhere like Venezuela, once, when, once crypto takes over full fiat, they're never going to put paper money back in there. And so, you know, over the course of however many years it is, maybe even 100 years, as each of these fiat fails, it'll be gone forever. That's kind of my my long term vision. Right. So. I mean, I mean, we have to we have to start start uh, educating people on on cryptocurrency. We have to start educating uh, communities on on crypto, uh, showing them that crypto is not something that is completely crazy out of this world and that they can't touch it because they don't have the knowledge. Everybody knows how to handle a ten dollar bill, right? Everybody knows how to handle a hundred dollar bill. People will understand how to handle a stable coin. People will understand how to use a wallet. And, and the simpler you make it, the better and the faster the integration is, is going to be. So going back to Venezuela, I believe that if we manage to change the minds of the people and, and make them understand that it's not because you can't touch your, your $10 bill that you don't have it, uh, this will stable coins will be implemented and stable coins will be used and 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 it's great for the dollar as well i mean mm-hmm. the, you know the 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 more people use stable coins the 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 better the dollar is going to do and 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 if we go even further and and we think even further we could back the the stable coin with gold right Imagine if you bagged a, a stable coin with gold. This is yeah, this is something else. Doing that actually, right? Yeah. yeah. So so that's mm-hmm. that's that we need to to educate. Education is the the most important tool. I mean, you're not gonna throw your two year old in the street and tell him, "Oh, go work." Right? You're gonna show him. You're gonna educate him. You're gonna tell him this is how you do it, and this is how you go, and this is how you walk, and this is how you buy, and this is how you sell. And then we're going to do the same thing with, with, with people on crypto yeah. and, and people are actually starting to open their minds and broaden their horizons and try to understand. I mean, we did a conference uh, a couple of days ago, uh, CIS, uh, Crypto Invest Summit uh, here in LA. And uh, a lot of people came to our booth and said, oh, what do you guys do? I'm not really familiar with EOS and, and I've never used EOS and, and what can you guys tell me about it? Uh, can I create an account? Uh, of course you can create an account. Use links. It's going to take you about three seconds. It's going to cost you uh, 99 cents. Uh, we're the cheapest ones out there, by the way, on account, account creation. So, it, you know, we educated people and it was a very cool time, a fun time. Uh, by the way, we're going to uh, uh, CryptoCon uh, in Vegas uh, next week. Cool. Uh, if people want to uh, come meet us, uh, we'll be there. Uh, EOS links. Uh, we have a booth, so feel free to <laughs> drop by. Hey, it's Las um, Vegas. You might get some visitors there. That's yeah, fun. hopefully. What's that onboarding process look like from a complete noob to like getting a wallet on links? You said it's just a few seconds. Like, what are, right. what are the actual steps that it takes? So the first step is going to be downloading links. Okay. You can download it on, right. Just download the app. You could do it on iOS. You can do it on Android. Uh, We actually also have a desktop. So uh, you could do it on desktop, but the real onboarding that happens on, on your phone, right? Because that's what Mm -hmm. we are. We're a mobile wallet. Um, So very simple download links, uh, follow different steps, accept the EOS constitution, uh, enter your, your account name, which is 12 characters. Uh, 
and then you'll be given your private key, which is not stored in links. It's stored on your phone. So we never have access to your private key. You, this is your, your responsibility to uh, take your key, put it in a safe place. Uh, I recommend uh, take, putting, putting it in a safe place, obviously, yeah. writing it down and putting it in a safe somewhere mm -hmm. or, or in a place that, that you know, you're not going to lose it. And, and, and that's it. And you, you do in-app purchases for 99 cents and then uh, which which is only uh, uh, we're not making any money. I feel we're actually losing money a little bit, but uh, we're doing it for people to actually have access at a very low rate in order to bring crypto to the masses again. I'm repeating myself, I know, but we, that's what we like to do. So process, very easy. Download links. Uh, Accept the EOS constitution, enter your 12 name character. Uh, you're going to be given a private key, uh, paste it into links, and then you're done. And then yes. the 99. AM, oh, excuse me, AML KYC in there at all? Or is it just. No, so uh, not right now. We're in the process of doing it. Uh, obviously, we have to do it. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, pretty soon something that is mandatory, I believe. Uh, so we are working on, on that subject. But right now, uh, your face ID is your KYC. Okay. So uh, this is your KYC. By the way, the 99 cents that we charge you uh, are uh, delegated to resources. So we take those 99 cents and we buy resources for you. And then we put them in, in your account so you can, you're ready to go. If, if somebody sends you uh, or you, you send uh, EOS to, to your EOS links account, you'll be able to use it within, oh. within seconds. Oh, that's great. And the, they're 99 cents. How, what ways can they give that? What ways can they pay that? Is that like a credit card or like a... Oh, yeah. yeah. It's an in-app in purchase. Okay. So, oh, yeah. so direct, directly through your phone, again, thumbprint or face ID, and then you bought it. Oh, okay. Done. You don't even have to do that. You just have it hooked up like you're buying an app. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. That's okay. That's great. I, li I like that. Um, removing the step of like having to get by yourself computing power basically and doing right. that on the back end. Like these are the, these are the little things that matter so much with the UX, like giving people what they're used to because right. we have these natural processes that we go through after, you know, learning tech and, and basically it's becoming a part of us. Right. And so there's these ways we do things and, and we, you know, we buy an app for 99 cents and then we sign up these different ways. We don't necessarily, uh, you know, buy an app and then buy EOS RAM so that we right. can transact, you know, so, uh, so the fact that you guys integrated that that way is, is pretty clever. That's cool. You know, back in the days, uh, uh, I was, pl uh, playing video games a lot when I was a kid and I played Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike has had two CDs, right? So you had to put the first CD in, install your thing. Then you had to install another thing of the internet. And then it was a lot of going around and sometimes it took you several hours to, to, to install your game. And then you wanted to play it and you had to create an account and then you had to do this. So coming from there and now using, doing the, the analogy with links, it's, we want to give people a tool that they can use right away. They don't have to, uh, uh, you have to create an account because it's the requirements for, for your wallet. But other than that, the resources are delegated to you. Uh, everything is very intuitive, very simple. It's not like back in the days where you had to go through 25 steps in order to be able to play. I mean, as a kid, I was very persistent because I wanted to play that game. But if, if I went back today, I would probably throw the computer away and, and walk away, you know? <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> so, so, yeah. so we really try to bring uh, a tool that is ready to go. Yeah, that's cool. And it sounds like, I mean, you guys are doing like the whole spectrum. This DAP Explorer idea is an idea that I've seen popping up a few different places. And right. it took me a little while to, to wrap my head around it, but it's almost like, uh, an early Netscape or something like these early ways to interact and, and, and be a part of the internet where people weren't real sure how to do it or where to go or right. where to direct themselves. And so, you know, people started to, to, to consolidate it and put it on a platform so that you could move around within the ecosystem. Right. So um, right. yeah, I'm starting to wrap my head around, okay, I see what a DAP Explorer is. I see these people are so visionary out here, like building these things and I'm just trying to understand what the heck's going <laughs> on, you know, but, uh, but yeah, that DAP Explorer is cool. So um, you, you basically go into the Lynx wallet and then there's all these, I mean, all the DAPs that people use, right. and you use them seamlessly. There's the, the DAPs right. you guys are creating as well. 
Um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big idea. It took me a while. So I hope people start to understand what a DAP experience I mean, I hope so too. Uh, I mean, uh, we're integrating with anyone that wants to, to join links. We're open to any DAP, any, any kind of any sort. You, it can be gambling, it can be utilities, it can be an e-commerce, it can be uh, uh, whatever it is we're implementing right now. So if people are hearing me uh, right now, and they probably do, uh, uh, contact us, you can contact us wherever, and then we'll make you integrate with links. I mean, you know, uh, it's, you see all those the apps today in the, like, real fiat apps where you can link all your Facebook account in Instagram account, Twitter account, uh, Snapchat account, uh, 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 Pinterest, all those different platforms are now in one app. Uh, I mean, uh, in China, uh, uh, you use WeChat. WeChat is that same thing where you have that full ecosystem and all those apps are within one app. And we thought that why not in crypto? Why not with a wallet? What, the wallet is the base of, of your everyday life, right? When you go out, the first thing you check is your phone and your wallet, your credit card, right? So now you have your phone because your wallet is on your phone. So you have your phone, your wallet, and you're able to use it on different applications, different ways, and, and it's, just, it's just great. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Um, this, this year is going to be so, in 2019 is going to be so interesting to see this oh, yes. go down. Oh yes. This is going to be fun. Yeah. And especially with, so you're integrating the decks as well. And so that yes. it's giving this, there's this concept of this full liquidity of our, of our cryptocurrency kind of regardless right. when you integrate the stable coins in there too, kind of regardless of which micro economy or which network we're working within. There's this going to be this, full liquidity so you can trade from your stable coin into a work coin and then right. back into uh you know a lynx token and then back right. into eos to stake it and all this kind of happening within one ecosystem so that you don't have to you know the things that i do to move around cryptocurrency right now and and do things with it it's like it i put it off a lot of time like it's a chore like oh my god i don't <laughs> feel like i don't feel like two-factor authentication and then sending right. it to my my coin base and then waiting, you know, 12 hours and then sending it to my bank, you know, all this stuff is going to go away. It's not going to take us a day to move exactly. our stuff around. And so that DEX is going to be cool too. How far along are you guys on that? Uh, you know, we hope by the end of the quarter, we'll have a lot of those new, uh, uh, new uh, uh, features. Um, I believe that uh, the stable coin should be done uh, within three, two to four weeks and the decks as well uh it's almost ready we're we're just trying to finalize and make it as as good as the wallet uh but again we're implementing with other dexes so you'll probably have a dex within links in in uh, uh sooner than our own decks but uh uh you know it's we're moving very fast we have a team that is incredible we have incredible people working on that project uh and and the fact that we have something to show for that is already out helps us uh, have more a, a bigger vision, a wider vision on on the market. And I think that uh, the imp Dex implementation is going to come soon. The stablecoin is going to come soon. Pay with links is going to come soon. We're going to have also an e shop that is going to come soon. Uh, and integrations that are coming every day, uh, more and more. We just integrated with uh, a PRA candy box, which is uh, a place where you can redeem tokens every 24 hours, I believe, or uh, every couple minutes. Uh, it's pretty incredible. You should check it out. It's, it's right now in our DAP Explorer. Uh, so every day you have new integrations that are coming. Uh, you have new features that are coming very soon. Uh, the new UI is going to be incredible. Our designer is doing a tremendous job on that and and we really are in a good on a good path we're how many, really how many devs you guys have working on all this uh so we have uh around four people right now working on that we have a freelancer as well which is incredible him as well we have uh, a designer that is absolutely amazing uh biz dev people uh we have we're two 
uh, investor relations, one person, and and that's it. And our great CEO Fred Kruger, which is a, a visionary himself. So so it's just it's just been a blast working here uh, with all those 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 beautiful minds and 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 good people. And you know the crypto world rallies so many different types of people that it's just meeting. Those 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 guys is just amazing. I was at CIS uh, Technology a couple of days ago, and I met some incredible people with incredible ideas and incredible vision for what we're doing. And I hope that in Vegas it will be the same thing. It's it's just unbelievable how many different ba- backgrounds are joining that 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 quest. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's very very it, fun. It very almost fun. makes like it almost makes normal life boring. You know, right, right. Out to dinner with some of my friends or something. I'm like, I I just I don't know what to say. Like, a, there's people trying to like change the world right now, and I'm missing it because we're you know because we're right. talking about football. I mean, like, I want to <laughs> I need to get back. And and, and I love football. Right, yeah. I'm a oh, I do too. Huge, but <laughs> huge football fan, but. Uh, even though my team is not doing so well. Oh, I'm a Niners fan, man. We don't want oh, to I don't want to talk yeah. about football. We, I'm I'm a Cleveland Browns fan, so Oh, well, you've got a history of just uh, <laughs> of just being terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but great. but you know, we're meeting so many different people that it's just, just meeting you, you know. We just talked a couple times and 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 you have me on on your podcast, which is really nice. And and Oh, I'm, I'm meeting you and in, in, in a couple of minutes I'm going to meet someone else and, and, and I'm going to talk to, to, to somebody else that created a, a, a crazy app and, and, and it's just amazing how people all think together and come up with those ideas. It's, it's really cool. Really. Yeah, I think that's one of the strongest parts of, of EOS is this community and kind of this upwelling of um, energy that's right. that's been sustained now for for a decent amount of time you know and i think that people were feeling like it would die out or the hype would die out and it's like it doesn't matter too much what the uh crypto world the mainstream out, right. yeah what they think because if you're deep in it you know that oh there's you know there's an engine going here that it's oh yeah, yeah not stopping in the near future like there's some yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. stuff happening it's it's in it's on stealth mode for now but but it will blow up and it will make a lot of noise and i mean just look at ripple ripple started uh, a couple of years ago and and they crashed and well the 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 the, the currency dropped and mm-hmm. Uh, nobody was talking about Ripple for a long time, and then suddenly, Ripple just burst it out and and is now talking to big, huge funds and huge banks and mm-hmm. and and applications on on the financial level and and with financial institutions and you know it's just it's just blowing up so fast that that nobody could have see it coming, and and we're right now in the same space. On, on EOS, nobody's saying it coming, but it's coming. Trust me, yeah. the, the the wave is 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 gonna hit pretty yeah, soon. This feels like that classic um, in the startup world. There's kind of the euphoria of beginning, and then there's kind of this long hard slog in the middle where it just kind of is rough, right. and then it and then it kind of goes parabolic. And suddenly, it's yeah. just boom. and so it definitely feels like we got some time in this little slog here before it's proven. But you know. But those who stick around are, are going to be in for a fun ride, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You mentioned the uh, the Lynx store or something like that. Right, you, right. What was that? You kind of glossed over it, but that sounds interesting. Uh, so basically, uh, we wanted to see how we can uh, how we could bring links to other sectors of 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 work, and and we said, okay, what do we have today? that is working like a charm. You have uh, music, like Apple Music or or Spotify. You have uh, uh, TV, right? Like YouTube, uh, Hulu, Netflix, all those guys. And you have e-commerce, right? Where do you see crypto and e-commerce? Right now, uh, TV is not really a, a place where we can go. Uh, uh, music is something that a lot of people are working on. Uh, but how can we bring e-commerce? E-commerce is pretty simple to 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 do, right? It's not that crazy uh, infrastructure. Mm-hmm. So if we can come up with some way that we could bring people to links and to EOS through uh, a mainstream e-commerce site, 
then 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 we won the battle right oh, I see so so we came up with a pay with links we saw pay with paypal <laughs> paypal started with that button on every platform you had pay with your visa or pay with paypal right so we said okay let's do pay with links and then we came up with that button so people can now uh, contact us and ask us to to help them out with integrating pay with links it's pretty simple uh, you can pay with links and it will be you will be redirected to to EOS links you will pay in EOS or stable coins if 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 you cho chose that option and then it will be sent and your 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 goods will be delivered to your door yeah. right you know it's it's pretty simple and then we we came up with a online store which is basically a, a web page with pay with links and you can choose uh, we're going to we're going to launch it pretty soon we hope and it's going to be, you'll be able to buy uh, links shirts, uh, links pants, uh, links hats, and just, just for people to understand what we want to do. It's not going to be something that we count on as revenue stream, but it's definitely something, a fun project that we wanted to bring out. And, and we hope that people are going to see that it's, it is possible to use crypto to buy everyday stuff. It is possible to buy uh, uh, your, your groceries on links. It is possible to uh, buy a new pair of shoes or a new bag or new headphones. Yeah. And, and <clears throat> the story of PayPal is, uh, or excuse me, uh, yeah, of PayPal, so interesting. And it, it's comparable to what you're trying to do there because when PayPal first came out, they were trying to get this adoption, but it's almost, it was almost in the same way that you look at crypto adoption where right. it was like, oh, but we got to do this and it's different. And we got to do this right, and it's different. Right. And we got to do this and it's different. And they were just like, and we don't gonna, trust them and we, we don't, don't know who yeah. they are. And et cetera, exactly. Et cetera, I'm not going right. to send this magic internet money over PayPal. Like, exactly. and, and they were having the exact same problem and how they, the solution that they finally came was to attach it to email. And so once they attached it to email and they basically made it like sending an email and then they got it, their breakthrough was getting on a couple sites where it was just pay with PayPal. And then all of a sudden there was this huge mass adoption because they made it simpler. They made it something people understood already and then exactly. attached it to someone already doing it. Exactly. And so this, this, this links pay idea. Oh my God, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's crazy. That, that could yeah. be like, cause all you would need to do is take, you know, get, get a couple big accounts and then all of a sudden it, it becomes a uh, crypto standard. Right. right. Wow. It becomes crypto standard, but uh, the, our real challenge, the real challenge right now and it, and, and that's the, the real question that everybody is asking is how do you get EOS? Right. So right now we are having trouble bringing, credit cards to eos uh but in the near future we hope that uh the laws are going to change and 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 the vision of crypto is going to change and people are not going to see it as a huge scam territory and are really going to see it as a real tool for people to move on in our economy to be sustainable and and we'll be able to buy uh, crypto with your, with our credit cards. And if we can manage to have a way to have credit cards on links, being able to buy EOS, then you can swap it for stable coins and you can use it on a, on a website. I mean, that's it. The game is over. We, we've conquered the, yeah. the, the, that, yeah, conquered that's the market. Kind of, that's kind of like, that's one of these big holes in the, in the whole ecosystem right. right now. It's like, okay, we can make it all easy to do, but like how do people get their hands on the actual crypto? Right. Um, right now the process yeah. is to go through an exchange and buy with your credit card. You have to be KYC, AML KYC uh, uh, on the, on the, on those platforms. Then you can buy at a certain rate and then you need to transfer it to your eos links account it takes a while and it, i mean it's yeah that's a big hurdle even even just if coinbase were to accept eos uh right. that would remove a step because you know people trying to <laughs> you go onto a trading website if you're not a trader and it's like what the well, you know what's going right on this is this yeah. is absolute madness like i feel like i'm gonna hit the wrong button and lose my house right now you know right. like, too much like, going I, I've on st i've studied yeah. finance and for 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 a couple of years uh, in college i graduated with a, a masters with a, a ba in finance and i did other stuff afterwards uh but uh even me when i go on those websites i'm like okay this this is complicated yeah <laughs> yeah okay let me understand how how all this is working because mm -hmm. it's it's not i'm not familiar with this but uh uh yeah i mean this is the big the, the big obstacle right now it's how do we 
if we really want to bring people to the crypto to the masses, we'll have to find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're not facilitating it, but we hopefully will in the near future, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I mean, because uh, links so easily solves that place to hold a to hold your EOS. Right now, how do we get someone? How do we get EOS into that wallet? Is like exactly. Like, you know, but that's not that's not a huge that's not a huge hurdle as regulations change and as things change. What is it? What do they say or what stops you from accepting a credit card for EOS right now? Well, there's a lot of things that that are stopping us. Uh, there are a lot of details, uh, but um, uh, the App Store, for example, right now is is a place where uh, cryptocurrency is. I mean. Not only the App Store, obviously, uh, the App Store, Facebook, Twitter, uh, all those places, platforms are really harsh with crypto. And it's not due to their fault. It's not their fault. It's the, the, the problem is that regulations are right now not non-existent and there's a blockade on, on, on crypto so far in the U.S. But, but um, you know, it's... It is going to change. Hopefully, people are going to see that crypto is not a big bad, the big bad, bad wolf. It's it's right now. There there are different limitations that we encounter, but I mean that's the game, right? Yeah, for sure. And it's, so it's you know it's not not necessarily that it's uh, there's regulations against it. There's a there's a lack of uh, regulatory clarity. Right, and right. So these right. big companies just are stay away from it until it's right. safe. Type exactly. Of and I think mm -hmm. there's a, the, a huge lack of, of knowledge on, on, and again, we're going back to, to education, educate the people, educate the, 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 the young guys, the young people that are growing up because they will be the ones ultimately that live with crypto. Uh, we, we came up with it, but those kids are going to grow up with it. And, and they are going to understand it more than we do right now in, in, in a couple of years. So education, we're always going back to that education, educate, educate, educate as much as possible, because it will become the, the, the future of our economy, in our, in our system. So we have to let people know what's going on. Yeah, and there's some uh, uh, a few of the block producers are focused on education, which is cool. You know, that's that's some of, that's one of the kind of the common approaches the block right. producers are taking is educating the the public. So, um, you know, the more this information keeps getting out there, the more people hear it. It's cool now. Well, it's actually not cool because <laughs> when people ask what I do and I say I'm in a blockchain, they they automatically oh, is that Bitcoin or is that like right, right. But at least exactly. there's, you know, over time, there's this name recognition. In right. 2016, 2015, if you said you were in blockchain or, you know, you would just say you were in Bitcoin or, you know, Ethereum right. or something, but no and one that, knows what you're talking about. So now they, that's, that's the problem, you know, I mean, I mean, crypto is not only Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So now when, when people ask me what I do, I say, I work in blockchain technology. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What is blockchain technology? And now I start to explain. But if I tell them I'm in Bitcoin, oh, they're going to think that I made $100 million <laughs> within two days and, and just live off, uh, live off of that. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. The technology behind it and the people that are working on the technology every day and improving it are, first of all, extremely smart people, uh, uh, extremely interesting people and and they're the ones that make bitcoin available to us so we have to stop saying oh what do you do i work in crypto i don't work in crypto i work in blockchain technology mm -hmm. the technology behind it is a real technology that is that is improving day by day and and it needs to be recognized and we're not uh working in bitcoin we're not working in bitcoin we are working in a beautiful technology that 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 is going to change the world yeah there's become almost like a stigma around like uh bitcoin you know millionaires type of right. type of this type of thing where if 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 someone gets a hint that you're involved with bitcoin they think that you know you got like rich and lucky and now you're like, right messing around it's, like exactly <laughs> it's, like, it's either like, either you got rich and lucky or you're scamming people with yeah. and, and you know, and it's not, it is not that it is not really yeah. not, and you know, more than everyone, you know, you're talking to a lot of people every day and doing your, your incredible podcast. And, and it's, you know, more than anyone else, what it is to be in that space. You're not just a, a 
a podcast. You're educating people on on what it is, and and that's great. So yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. And and it's for me, it's it's I'm just so curious, and there's so much to learn about this space that I can do it all day and still learn more stuff. So this podcast is like my own personal education. Like I, right. just, that's why I do it so much. It's like I don't I don't care if I don't make money or if I have to work really hard because I, I have to be deep into this EOC right. system here. So uh, Obviously. it's, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's fulfilling for me. Um, and you know, on that note, I'm, I'm got a project that I just started working on. I was telling you about, I'm going to, uh, I'm looking into right now or laying the groundwork for a, for a block producer. So um, right. you know, I'm looking to dive even a little bit deeper here. So um, yeah, I, I love the, I love the ecosystem. Um, Oh, and you know, speaking of that, are you looking to support um, block producer voting at some point, or is that something we already do? We are actually oh, already, already do. do. So you're able to uh, uh, vote uh, within links uh, pretty easily uh, with an app that we that we um, that we integrated with, which which is called uh, EOS Vote Tracker, and and you're you're able to to do it. Uh, within the app so yeah voting is available uh, staking is available as well uh, and integrations are open for business so whoever wants to come join us in in our in our crusade <laughs> more than welcome more than welcome yeah come come integrate exactly in exactly yeah. exactly yeah we're making we're actually working very hard to make it even simpler than what we already have uh, uh, to integrate with uh, so people need to stay tuned for for that update but uh uh yeah we hopefully uh will have a way to integrate as easily as possible and as simply as our wallet is mm -hmm. uh, so that's cool what do you think that your biggest aside from like fiat on ramping which is kind mm -hmm. of cryptocurrency as a whole's problem mm -hmm. what do you think your biggest hurdle to overcome at this point is um I really think that uh, the biggest hurdle will be um, just bringing new people in. I think I think it's the biggest. Well, it's not the biggest obstacle. I think it's the biggest challenge that we have is to 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 share links with uh, the whole world. Right? We want to go to every market possible and and show people that it is easy. And I think I think the the to, 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 to give you another challenge that we might have, the challenge is uh, to uh, persuade people or make people understand that crypto is not crazy and you can have it as uh, uh, an, an add-on to, to what you already have on your website. So e-commerce site, uh, we're really trying to work on that uh, and bring pay with links uh, uh, to uh, as many sites as possible and as many industries as possible. We're working a lot with, we're in, in California, so it is legal. Uh, we're working a lot with uh, uh, cannabis producers and, and cannabis companies. Uh, we're tr starting to talk with them and, and Beehive, uh, uh, if people don't know, is a great, is a great platform they have a lot of stuff going on you should definitely check it out um uh beehive is is we're, we're working with them we integrated their their tokens the poland poland and honey token uh, uh a lot of uh, those industries need crypto they need it so gambling needs crypto cannabis needs crypto but what about other stuff right what about clothes what about uh uh, uh sports what about I think this will be our biggest challenge. Overcome the preconceived ideas that crypto is what it is now, it's never gonna change, and, and make people understand that they can have crypto as well on their website. I think that that will be one of our biggest challenges. Yeah, well, <clears throat> are you guys planning on uh, representing at the uh, EOS San Francisco Hackathon coming up? Oh yes, we are. We are. Oh, our cool. devs are, are, are going. Uh, uh, I think it's it's the weekend of the fifth, right? If I'm not yeah, it's mistaken. coming up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's coming up pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, we have a busy b b busy next month. Uh, we're going to uh, the CryptoCon uh, in Vegas. Then our devs are going to San Francisco for the hackathon. Then we're going probably to a trade show, a crypto trade show in in SF as well. Uh, 
a lot of stuff are, are coming up, but we will be at the hackathon, yes. Cool. Well, I'll be at the hackathon, so I'll look forward right, to so you, and, yeah, I'll you, meet your devs there, yeah. Yeah, you'll meet you'll meet our team and 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 you'll see how cool they are. Cool, very cool people, so. Nice, so hopefully, well, yeah, hopefully you'll to get that. to talk to them and and tell them that yeah, uh, we've done a podcast together and and Yep. For sure. I'm sure I guarantee I'll meet them because I'm going to be, uh, I'm one of the mentors there. So I'll, I'll be okay. going around and talking to the dev team. So I'll, All right. I'll catch up with them a little bit and see what they're, awesome. what they're up to. Um, for any of you listeners who are uh, going to the SF hackathon on Monday after the hackathon, there's a scaling blockchain conference and I will be the MC at that. And a bunch of the um, block producers will be there talking and it'll be, it, they're looking to put real applications for, for, for blockchain out there. So blockchain. that's what it's about. So I'll put a link for that in the show notes. Um, and you guys can get a discount if you go to scaling blockchain on Monday and come hang out. Um, what do you, where do you, where can people find you links, wallet, uh, work coin, like what's going on and uh, where, so, where do you want people to find you? Or- so they can find us on any platform, really uh, Twitter uh, at real work coin. We don't have a links uh, Twitter only uh, uh, uh Workcoin, but we do Workcoin and links on the same account. Uh, so at Real Workcoin, uh, Facebook Workcoin or EOS Links, uh, you'll see it's the little cat, little cat's face. Uh, um, so Facebook, uh, we have EOS Links and Workcoin on there. Then uh, Quora, Reddit, Medium. Uh, I write the press releases and, and some articles on Medium as well, so people can check it out. Um, and and yeah. Uh, Telegram as well. We have a work coin and a, uh, uh, we actually have two different channels for links. We have a links uh, telegram channel, which is a, a pretty common, uh, you know, uh, if people have questions or bugs or, or want to give us some, some insights on what they think we should do for next for links uh, or, or interact with, a, with our team, they're able to do it on Telegram uh, on that, that specific channel. And for people that want to integrate with us, uh, you can go to the Links Apps, uh, which is our other channel for especially made for integration. So if anyone wants to integrate with us, they can go to the Links App uh, Telegram channel, uh, c- tag me at real work coin Rob, uh, uh, work on Rob, sorry, work on Rob and, and just say, Hey, we would love to integrate with you guys and I'll contact you directly and we can get a b- ball rolling. Make it happen. Cool. Well, yeah, I will, exactly. I'll put the, uh, I'll put those links in the show notes for anyone listening All right. who wants to find those, wants to find those links. Do you have any, um, parting thoughts or anything that you'd like to touch on before we, we wrap up here? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me on your podcast. Yeah, it's an incredible podcast, and I think you're doing an awesome job of, of educating people. And, and again, you can see that that this is really close to my heart, educating people on, on crypto. Uh, and and uh, just uh, for, again, for anyone that wants to integrate with Lynx, we're, we're here and we're ready to talk, and, and you guys can contact us, it's no problem. Uh, and for everybody else that's listening to uh, this awesome US podcast, just keep on listening and, and keep on working on crypto and keep on making it great. Making crypto great. Here we go. Exactly. Well, cool. Thanks for coming on the, the show, Robin. Hey, thank you very check much. Out, uh, links, check out WorkCoin, and I will see you next time, my EOS friends. All right. The money is not the prime asset in life. Time is, and uh, your time is. Just- Come along.